Period. And we're off a New York trip, baby. A little bit late, obviously. And we both look like serious. We look like Oompa Loompas, baby. Look. Okay, we also must note that one of you guys reached out to him. Shout out to Kyle. And gave me like a diamond upgrade, bitch. Because you know my house is not diamond class. So we're really crossing our fingers to see if I'm going to get upgraded to Delta 1. So stay tuned. Because my big 6'4 ass is not going to fit in economy. Any what is your favorite thing about traveling with me? Your style on the plane. Which has helped me to wear more comfortable clothing. Like I used to be someone who would wear more like button downs and blazers because I'd usually be traveling for work and now it's all sweats and sweatshirts. I think that's just part of moving to LA though. Did you used awesome. to fly in before you met me? And that like was more up, like more upscale, like New York City chic. Okay. Are you excited to go to the US Open? We're going to the US Open by the way with Grey Goose. I'm very excited. The melon ball drinks are the best. It's the only time, really, the whole year I'll drink. What's vodka. your favorite drink and drink of choice? It's very, tequila, tequila, very tequila. picky. Tequila, 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 fresh lime and spice. But I think this is the one time of the year that I'll drink vodka, especially a flavored vodka. I would never go for a melon flavored vodka. But there's something about the U.S. Open and the little melon balls that go in the drink that are very reminiscent of tennis balls. It just it's hits just so different. celebratory. Okay, now Brian's going to try and upgrade his seat next to mine, like as if they're gonna give him a free upgrade, bitch. That ain't gonna happen. I really wanna find the guy that's on my same flight that gave me so kindly his upgrade. And now, oh my God. People are probably like, think I'm a freak. My hair and my spray tan. Well, bitch, I just got upgraded to Delta One. So now I wanna find the guy who gave me his upgrade and gave me his seat. Okay, quick update. I had the upgrade and then Somebody bought the seat, so no more upgrade. So we are in the regular regulars, which is fine because honestly, he came prepared with snacks, so we're good. And also, like, this isn't bad. I'm not, I'm not mad at an exit route. I wasn't even supposed to be there anyway, so stay tuned. Hopefully, drunk after the flight. I feel like it's an overserved. Here you go. Now you kept, you had six bottles of wine. How was the flight? It was really good, but you're drunk now. I have to handle everything. You kept talking to the flight attendant. Tell them what you were saying about the flight attendant. She invited us to come to her her uh, beach sand castle thing tomorrow. What's time? Is it show? Uh, now we're just gonna decide if we're gonna go back to Brian's apartment. Brian does have an apartment in the city, by the way, don't you, my love? What are you do. thinking? I think we go out to the Hamptons because we have a full day tomorrow. I had three protein bars, two things of sushi, eight pieces each, ten meatballs, chicken salad wrap, and the pretzels that came on the plane. But one of my followers was very nice and kept sending us back drinks, which is why he's drunk. Okay, we made it. It was a journey, honey. Do you think I can pull this shirt off or no? Might be a little much. See, it's like kind of like a halter top moment. You think I can pull this tank top off or is it like a halter top? Oh God. Do not wear that. That looks Ew, like a no. woman's shirt. Yeah, that doesn't look <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, you're doing a Melissa Wood Health workout. Cola. I love Celsius. Because these babies have been sitting here for like two years. Is this we've, we've only been together for two years. Coming to my boyfriend's home with his family feels, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> He was obsessed with this flight attendant last night. He wouldn't like let it go. And well, are he we gonna be thinks going? that we're going to her um, sandcastle competition. We're not going to her sandcastle competition tomorrow, by the way. Well, it's today and they're making a big corn in the cob and I thought it would be kind of fun. I mean, it's apparently like a big, a big deal on the public beach here. So we're not going major. to her sandcastle competition. Okay. She was really interested in hanging out with us. And they, well, like, she, she I was, was overserved. She was like, you were overserved. You were drunk again. Having a beach moment. It's our first time here all summer. I'm more of like an Atlantic Ocean kind of guy, we've decided. I'm gonna jump in no matter what. Period. How's my back look? My neck. My back. The gaze, honey. Oh, <laughs> I literally am like, do I hear Joey's Wait, that's so funny. Okay. Just come. Wait, I'm scared. I can't just, just do jump it. in. You have to. Period. And honey, we're riding bikes, so it's gonna take a little minute for sure. I hope I don't crash during this time. But if I do, I love you guys. 
I think we can make a quick turnaround at 4 o'clock in the car. 4.30. <gasps> my phone just dropped. Oh my god, don't run over it. That car, that car. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Please don't be cracked. Please don't be cracked. Please don't be cracked. <gasps> oh no. And we made it. Are you surprised that we made it at 4.30? We had a four o'clock departure time, so 4.30 for us is very good. Are you excited, Bob? I'm very, very excited. You look really like, remember what you were saying at the beginning of the video about how LA has changed your style? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's really US Open but style, but I think anything flies these days. You guys saw that I dropped my phone, so I'm very devastated, but she's still working and intact. So it's not that bad. Life and things could be worse. Look, we're already pre-gaming, honey. He has rosé and I have water. I'm saving everything for the honeydews, baby. Grey Goose only today. That's what happens when you do a sponsorship, honey. You wanna be um, super loyal. What is your favorite thing about me? Inappropriate to talk about. <laughs> spending time with you. Okay, but what about my favorite personality trait? Give me something good. You're full of life. Can you elaborate? So you guys know I always keep it real and posted and we were just talking about the fact that life is so much easier when you don't stress about stuff. Like the things that you can't control should just be left to the uncontrollable and you just gotta live life. And I've been really making an effort because sometimes like when I was younger, my mom called me a worry ward because I worried about everything and I still kind of do. I want everything to go right and go perfectly, but like it never is. And not everything is gonna be the way that you like think it is gonna go. So. I, I made an effort starting with the airport yesterday and it really helped me. So I think just making a conscious effort to not stress over the things you So what typically happens at the airport is that I usually start getting really antsy about like timing. So I wanna like leave the house like three hours early and I wanna get there. And Brian is like very, more timely like to get there when we need to get there like no reason to get there two hours early and it always causes like a fight like i always get angry and stressed and like i start yelling and like whatever like throwing a tantrum basically and then we get to the airport and like you know if there's like one hiccup i think that it's like the end of the world and i start getting really like just anxious and mad and angry and like then it causes a fight so Yesterday was the first smooth sailing travel that I've probably ever done without getting really like hyped up or antsy. And today, just having such a smooth travel yesterday, yes, I do feel so much less stressed. Honey, when you're not anxiety ridden, life is just better, period. Anxiety and stress compound, but I think you can have anxiety over nothing. And I think stress comes and can sometimes be a good thing and, you know, boot you into shape sometimes like if you're working you're stressed that's okay but sometimes having anxiety over nothing and things you can't control that's a problem but i'm never going to be one of those like la people that takes like a bunch of like pills to combat it i'm just gonna figure it out myself starting with just switching my mindset i think you always exude better energy when you're not stressed so i'm just gonna try to do that moving forward this is day one of not being stressed and anxiety ridden Honey, we made it to the Grey Goose Suite. Little yeah. tour. Oh, this is the best part. Wait, I thought it was good. Yes. Like cool to tonight. I'm like hot. Let's brand, brand us out. There you go. Look at this. This is official because I got the Grey official. Goose wristband. Yes, that means official. unlimited. Not everyone gets that. Honey, dude. Okay, I'll I'll take you guys outside too. Don't mind me, guys. Just vlogging a little bit. No, Take your Oh, this is. Oh, we're. Oh, it's just number one. Just we're already popping off. Don't worry. That's what I'm here for the honeydews, but also for the game. Day later after the US Open, honey, we needed a little recovery. You're driving really, like, fast. Oh, it's my fault. Yeah, why would you say that shit to me? I was going into, like. Because those are things that you should know. Okay, it's Labor Day weekend. It's beautiful outside. And we're going to a barbecue. We had one day recovery after the US Open. We it was needed kind it. of like raining anyway. It was raining and it was perfect. We really needed it. So, you know, here we are. 